All right, gang, here we go. A big time Northeast winter storm is set to sock parts of the Mid-Atlantic and New England with up to two feet of snow, damaging winds, blizzard conditions, and coastal flooding. Thunder snow could be in the offing too, as the meteorological bomb explosively intensifies on Saturday. And of course, if you're watching us on YouTube, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. I'll be on Cape Cod in the thick of things on Saturday, and believe me, you will not want to miss what we see up there. On Thursday, the atmospheric ingredients were beginning to flirt with interaction. We begin with their shortwave for low but high altitude cold air, low pressure, and spin over the Rockies. It slipped through the Columbia River Basin and is soon to move over the Four Corners region. There's a second shortwave over Alberta and Saskatchewan pushing southeast as well. The two systems will synergistically merge or phase on Friday over the Appalachians while shifting east. That will coincide with a hefty dip in the jet stream. That combined approaching mid-level disturbance will lend support to a nascent surface low maturing off the Carolinas on Friday afternoon. That low will rapidly intensify as its minimum air pressure plummets. In fact, its explosive deepening could occur 50% faster than the requirements for bombogenesis, easily making this a bomb. In the northern hemisphere, lows been counterclockwise, meaning winds along the eastern seaboard will be out of the northeast. That's why we call it a nor'easter. The storm's precipitation field will quickly expand and precipitation should increase in intensity as the day wears on on Saturday. Now we have to start talking wild cards or sources of lingering uncertainty. You see, all weather models are wrong, but they're all useful in their own different ways. Already, it seems high pressure is building in behind the disturbance over the Rockies more quickly and a little bit more intensely, leading to a more amplified or wavy upper level low. That could tug the surface low closer to shore and bring bigger snowfall. We also think the American GFS model, which depicts the storm as heading farther out to sea, might be suffering issues from convective feedback. In other words, a necklace of thunderstorms over the Gulf Stream on the surface low's warm side may tug the surface low a little bit to the east, but the GFS is probably overdoing that effect, so I think it'll be a little farther west than that model simulates. So breaking it all down, here's our forecast. We begin in the jackpot zone of New England. The low looks to pass near or just east of the 40 north 70 west benchmark. That's an imaginary marker meteorologists refer to in discussing classic textbook winter storms. Light snowfall will break out after midnight Saturday morning across southern New England as snow expands north and east. Two inch per hour snowfall rates are possible inside of I-495 and especially in Plymouth and Bristol counties and on the Cape. For all but the Cape and the Islands, it should be a lighter snow with kind of greater fluff factor, so it'll stack up higher. Thunder snow is possible too, along with winds gusting upwards of 65 miles per hour on Cape Cod and the islands. Winds may top 55 on the eastern Massachusetts shoreline. That should coincide with the heavy snow to bring blizzard conditions, and it could be the first blizzard there since 2018. Do be prepared for scattered power outages. Meanwhile, coastal flooding is possible too, with a one to three foot storm surge added atop already high astronomical tides in the evening. Places like the Sandwich Boardwalk, Buzzards Bay, Narragansett Bay, and Barnesville and Situate Harbors ought to really closely watch this. Apropos to snowfall, here's our official forecast for New England. Boston could see 10 to 16 inches, Providence could get 8 to 14, and Worcester 6 inches to a foot. Manchester, New Hampshire, and Portland, Maine are both in the 8 to 14 range, while Hartford could see a little bit lesser, but a plowable 5 to 10. Then our attention turns to New York City, where really, things are just downright frustrating. We know there will likely be a band of deformation or stretching at the upper levels of the atmosphere that will foster upward motion, which in turn will support a strip of very heavy snowfall. It may back into New York City, but maybe it won't. For now, I think four to seven inches is a good bet. West of the city will see much less and Long Island could see substantially more. Things become much more high stakes when we talk about the Mid-Atlantic. Winter storm watches are up from northeastern North Carolina and the Virginia Tidewater all the way to the Canadian border. There's a good chance some sneaky snow could try to impact New Jersey and the Delmarva Peninsula if the storm gets going sooner rather than later. I'm still not sold on this potential, but four to seven inches seems like a good thing to plan for in Philly. Remember, you might see less, but this is one of those times where it's good to plan for the reasonable worst case scenario just in case. Atlantic City, New Jersey could be close enough to the storm to get 6 to 12 inches, but note just how broad that range actually is. Here in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. will likely see a coating to 2 inches, with 1 to 3 in Baltimore. Richmond and Virginia Beach are both in the 2 to 5 inch zone, and even Raleigh could see an inch or two, but again, that's not set in stone. Fortunately, we're not talking any big mixing issues this time around, which should make the forecast just a little bit less difficult. That said, this one really is a nail biter and admittedly, meteorologically challenging to say the least. It's a reminder for everybody that we are scientists, but we don't have a crystal ball. We have equations, expertise, and the ability to formulate educated guesses. Sometimes, however, we just have to do our best, and this is one of those times. 
Download the MyRadar app for the very latest throughout the storm. Follow MyRadar on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download MyRadar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.